today. Here's a little parcel of mine run material from uh, central Queensland. It's boulder opal. It's been wetted. The rule's in millimetres. I'll zoom in so I can show you. Okay, I've zoomed in. Some of the pieces I've just thrown in. It's practice material. Piece like that. The basic idea of selling this material is to, for you to learn to cut down and to follow the the seams. Some of them are too fine, like that piece I've just thrown in. Whether you want a little blue line there. Again, a little bit more of a sparkle in some of this a piece like that. Maybe just cut and polish the way it is. And use the feature of the lines. This is a better side, of course, and that's one of the first things with the bowl rope. Or look at it every which way before you start cutting it. You never know. Like with that, doesn't look like it doesn't. Material doesn't go under there, so you could cut that off the end here, end up with a little pendant, and end up with another stone that way. Grind this piece off. A bit more fire in this piece. A couple of spots there. Doesn't. I don't think it goes under there at all. It's priced on what I can see, not on the weight. This is a pretty piece. Might be better material under here. That's the thing get to that you're going to lose this probably that's the decisions you have to make when with the boulder is le learning probably take this little bit off first off here then that'll show you what's under here like I say it's not been sold on weight it's been sold as practice material For you to learn to read the stone. There's a vein through there, so what do you do? Do you cut cut that off first, end up with a stone here, and then follow that through? But look at each piece before you cut it on all sides. Hope you've enjoyed. Cheers.